everybody it is i and i simone and i am back so today as i promised you i'm actually going to show you how to make what i can sell fish if you don't know nothing no, no, about saltfish, saltfish is Jamaica's national dish. It is one of the most unique delicacies that you can find around the Caribbean island. And I'm so, I would say, blessed to be able to bring up some of those aki from Jamaica. So while I was in Jamaica on vacation about two weeks ago, I was able to freeze some aki. So aki is a very unique and exotic fruit. It is packed with so many nutrients it is delicious and it is different and as i was saying it is jamaica's i would say it was a part of jamaica's national dish it kind of looks like an egg once it is hoxed out of its shell but you have to cook it and today me i go show uno up and make aki and sal fish trust me when i love it this is a great recipe that i came up with actually i said i would say i altered the recipe from its natural form because originally how i was raised up to cook aki and sawfish i had to have the dried codfish you would purchase it from the market or the store you would have to boil the the sawfish which takes another i don't know maybe more than a, a half an hour hour actually boil it twice so you have to boil out the actual salt out of the salted cured fish and then you have to pick it apart so recently while i was at the grocery store i came across some fresh cod and i was like hmm i wonder if we can try something different with this fresh cod and i did it and it is so delicious so i am going to introduce you today my version of making akian sawfish using fresh cod which is high in protein high in vitamins and it's de absolutely delicious so to begin we're going to have to boil our water here and so what i'm doing i'm boiling the water the aki that i have here as you can see the aki it resembles actually it resembles scrambled eggs that's most people say that it looks like scrambled eggs so this is what the aki the frozen aki looks like and i froze this and brought it up from jamaica and you're actually going to just put this directly into the pot and you're going to cook it for about 10 minutes in the meantime while that is cooking you're going to heat your oil and what i have here is some jamaican coconut oil that i brought up from jamaica and so what i love about the coconut oil it has so much flavor and it just gives it a strong rich coconut aroma and flavor to the aki and sawfish so you can use regular oil you can use um i would say um olive oil or any type of uh, you can use grapeseed oil any type of healthy oil is recommended but i particularly like the coconut oil because it gives you that flavor from that coconut and it just makes the food and makes the aki and sawfish recipe taste much better our ingredients begins with fresh cod from the market. We also have fresh chopped garlic, sliced tomatoes, bell peppers, and a half an onion, some fresh thyme, actually I should say fresh thyme, some dry thyme, and Maggie's all-purpose seasoning. Once you saute that, you're just going to place your sauteed veggies aside. Keep the oil in the pot because you're going to need that for your codfish. Now I'm going to reintroduce my salty onions and I'm going to cook that. I have 
another, let's say three minutes, two to three minutes, on a medium heat. When you fry the cod initially, make sure that the temperature is on high. That helps to heat the oil up. So for the next step, we're going to now add your ackee. And you really don't want to disturb the pot too much. Actually, I want to add a little bit of water just to add some flavor. And we put some of the cheese in from the bottom of the pot. Just so that I can get some gravy. It's not too dry. And you want to add some black pepper. to introduce to you my secret ingredient the scotch bonnet pepper man if you know anything about this pepper man i can't smell it right now because it's frozen but this wakes up the flavor in any jamaican food everybody from jamaica knows that scotch bonnet are the best pepper in the world a piece of scotch bonnet Some fresh thyme. What I tend to do is just shake it and then just use the bottom of that. Let's stir it all together. Smells delicious already. I already smell that Scotch bonnet. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I can't solve this. It's not complete. Now, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious act and salt. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have now been introduced to my version of ackee and saltfish using fresh carp. So if you like what you saw today and you want to see more, make sure you press that subscribe button. Make sure you share it so that you can know when I release my next video and how to look and live your best life. I'm Simone Blair Walker, as always, inspiring you, mind, body, and spirit.